hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back in london as you can probably see let me actually just pop you up here the lighting's not as good but i can talk to you properly um so i'm back in london i've actually been back for a week but honestly it's taken me a little while to get back oh my god what's going on <laughs> it's taken me a little while to get back into the swing of things i had the best time in ibiza um but i'm ready to get back to my routine you know i love a routine so it's currently tuesday i've got a lot of work to catch up on got a few events this week which i'll bring you along to and yeah i'm just gonna get back with the weekly vlogs because i say it all the time but i've neglected my youtube channel also in london we're having a huge heat wave so <laughs> The heat is unbearable. I've got this cute little cord on today, which I'll link down below. But I want to share with you one of my must, must have beauty products for summer. And obviously I've got a natural tan from Ibiza, but to make me glow, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very glowy. And it's honestly, it's the nicest finish for your skin is this tom ford bronzing product it's a shimmering body oil but it smells so nice and whenever i wear this i always get compliments on how smooth and soft my skin looks and to how good i smell it smells like summer in a bottle but well, basically it is summer in a bottle so depending on what i wear i just put a slight bit on my chest today and then a bit on my belly and honestly cannot rant about this product enough i absolutely love that but i've just filmed a video i'm also getting back on my reels for instagram i'm just having a full filming day today good morning guys excuse the mess in the hallway and the mess of me to be honest <laughs> i've just given up trying to dress in this heat it is wild and i've been to pilates this morning so i've just got a slick back bun um which is why i'm looking bald but i'll insert a clip here of my pilates class so much fun i i'm really really glad that i've got into pilates um so i would highly recommend if you have got a reformer near you um and i'm actually going to visit a gym on friday i think i've spoken about this before but i've really struggled to find a gym near me and i mean there are a lot of gyms but they're either really awkward opening times or super busy um so fingers crossed this one is the one i will bring you along well if it's not too awkward um, but yeah, I need to go and get my nails done because I was doing some gardening and I've snapped off three nails, which just is not a vibe. And I need to go and I need to go to the post office and probably gonna pop into the shop and try and get some ice lollies. You cannot dress in this heat. Honestly, it's wild. Um, so today I've just chucked on this little black dress because I don't know, I've just given up on trying to look nice. <laughs> Um, but this dress is so good and easy just to chuck on for days like this um, and then it goes down at the back if you can see that um, I think this one's sold out but I will link a similar and then I've just whacked it on with some flip flops these ones are great because they're like leather they look a little bit smarter but still super comfortable slick back bun um, I've also got a lot of new jewellery on so I'm going to link that as well and then I'm just going to wear it with my Fendi bag. I swear every time I film, there's a bloody fly in my video. Um, so, all my errands have been done. I've been to the post office, got my nails fixed. Even though I don't like the colour. So, it's not actually coming across that bad on there. I feel like it's very Barbie pink. And where I've got a tan, and I'm very blonde from the sun, I just feel like... 
I don't know. Do I look like a Barbie? Because I kind of feel like a Barbie. Um, but I just felt too rude <laughs> to turn around and be like, oh no, actually I don't like that colour. So I just thought, do you know what? If I heat, heat it that much, I'll just paint them myself. But, I mean, not the end of the world. Um, anyway, I wanted to quickly show you some jewellery I got because... It is so cute. So I've got this little teddy bear necklace on. I mean, how adorable is that? And then also this ring. It's actually a very relaxing. It could be kind of used as like a stress anxiety ring. Well, I would anyway. And then, oh my God, that fly. <laughs> okay, let's just ignore him. And then I got these beautiful teddy bear earrings. I mean, how freaking cute. And then this necklace as well, which has like a little shell on the end of it and one side's pearl. <laughs> and the other side's just a gold chain, but I thought that was so cute. They actually look great together as well. morning <laughs> so i might look half normal here but if i just show you this side <laughs> i'm trying a new eye um eyebrow dye pen thing my camera is so broken this isn't gonna focus just do one brow at a time so i'm giving it a go so fingers crossed this works because i have a busy day <laughs> So if this goes tits up, we'll see. It says to leave on for ooh, two to three minutes and do one brow at a time. So I will report back, but this is the before. Okay, so I've just washed it off. I mean, I feel like I could have probably left it on for like a tiny bit longer. This is before and this is after. I just shoved you there. So it's literally like just basically a pen. So rather than having to like mix all the dye yourself, you just use this straight away. Super easy, super simple, not an ad. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the brow. Pretty impressed. Now I'm gonna even them out and do the other one. Good morning guys. Actually, afternoon, that's a lie. I think it's afternoon now. But I've been filming videos all day and basically just trying to avoid the heat outside. <laughs> But I have actually got a meeting and an event today. So like this whole vlog is just going to be me talking about the weather. Um, but the reason I actually jumped on here is because I feel like I'm having a very good hair day. And I'm putting it down to this product. Sorry for the mess, but I've just filmed um, a video and I'm not tidied up. But I've used my Dyson which I always use but the only thing I've done different also I've done this about I think four hours ago and this is how like fresh it is um only difference is I used the Gizu prep what is it called prep me prime me define me it's a pri hair primer I feel like it's helped keep my curls in Oh well, so yeah, I thought I'd just show that. Um, also, I don't know if I've shown you, I got another new tattoo in red ink this time, and it's a little lightning bolt, and I'm absolutely obsessed. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm actually wearing this outfit today, but I had to show you because it is probably one of my favourite outfits. I've worn in a very very long time and I feel like it's not even coming across on camera how cool this outfit is um so it's like this crochet knitted dress but honestly the quality is insane and then over the top I've just put the these sleeves but one sec sorry that was a delivery man um but as I was saying 
Just put these sleeves over the top. I'm literally obsessed with. I mean, is it only me or is this just insane? And then with it, I've got my new Birkins. When I saw them, I just fell in love. I've got these like green tortoiseshell buckles and I'm obsessed with the colour, just love them. Okay, I thought I'd just quickly, the sun has literally just gone in as I put the camera on, um, but I thought I'd just quickly show you this dress. I'm not gonna wear it just purely because I need to buy boob tape, otherwise everyone on the tube is gonna get a flash. Um, but I wanted to show you anyway because I feel like you all just need to run to Primark and get this dress. So it's just like this crochet knitted dress and then it's got like beautiful tie up details here and it's honestly just so flattering and so beautiful I feel like you'd never be able to guess that this was Primark okay I'm currently resting <laughs> on my water bottle um since I last left you I have I'm so sorry about this angle but it's all I've got to work with um but since I last left you I've had about 50 Amazon deliveries and I have changed my outfit again probably about 50 times and I don't want to mention the weather again because this is going to turn into a weather forecast um but it's just so hard to dress so I've kind of just given up now and it looks like I'm in my pajamas but I'm not I promise um but basically I've ordered a shoe shelf because the wardrobe room stresses me out beyond 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 belief and i really don't want to keep buying like rails and random crap for that room because obviously i plan to get built in wardrobes do it up properly and i just thought there's no point wasting money because <clears throat> because it all adds up but it's out of control and i don't know when i'm gonna get the room done so i gave him and I bought a shoe rack thing which i'm tempted to build now and then i also bought two new rails which is just annoying but honestly i cannot function in that room why is that not fitting in um because it's a mess and i've tried to cram all my shit on three rails and it's just not working a bit like this right now like that seems to be too short to go into there like am i being stupid here why is one shorter than the rest oh god right i'm gonna pull back these super cute white trousers very summery i mean they're very much holiday vibe but i don't care i'm going with it um a white crop top oversized shirt my birkenstocks and then my usual accessories good morning guys so i didn't film any of my outing yesterday purely because it was so busy at the event um, and there wasn't really any opportunities to get my camera out and film and then I got home and started to clear out of my wardrobe literally at like 11 p.m so I'm very tired but I'm off to visit a gym so I'm gonna bring you along hopefully even though my camera is flashing um yeah let's go guys I am low-key obsessed with this gym I'm in the changing rooms at the moment so I'll just show you the changing rooms but honestly the coolest gym ever like this is literally just the changing rooms it is the coolest little spot ever so I'm just about to get ready for the day and I thought why not get ready with you as i'm putting some waves in my hair and if you followed me for a while you would know this is like my go-to summer hairstyle um so i will insert a few photos here i just love this hairstyle i wear my hair pretty much in two different styles wavy and in a slip back bun um but sometimes i'm oh 
mix it up and use the waver and every time i do use this hairstyle i always get questions from you guys on how i do it it's so simple and so easy so i thought i'd just show you um so today i'm using the mermaid hair pro waver um so i actually left my last waver on holiday and i was so sad but it just means i get a new one and as you can see this one is beautiful and pink it also does come with a glove so you don't burn yourself i mean how cute is that i'm just here for the aesthetics okay so my curler has now heated i don't know if you can see that but i always put my heat to 180 i once was told i don't know how true this is but i was once told never to put hair heat above 180 um so i always use 180 but you can adjust it on the dials here um to go higher or lower and then i always just start by sectioning my hair i usually do it in like three three sections probably and the thing i love about this hairstyle is it's so quick and so easy just brushing it through also how cute is this brush <laughs> okay so you want to flip the curler when you do this so for example that is the front that is the back but always have the back facing forward i hope that makes sense <laughs> but i will show you so i grab a piece of hair probably about that thick and then you literally just put the piece of hair in the middle like so clamp it down and then just hold it for a few seconds like so and then just move it down here obviously depending how wavy you want it you can leave it longer or shorter and then i always leave a little bit at the bottom here and then if i just let go of that you have the most perfect wave and then you just go in with another piece so as you can see this side is done and it just gives the most perfect wave so i'm just gonna do a little time lapse and do the rest of my hair and then this is the final look so i usually just run my hands through it like so and then that is how i create my beachy waves So yeah, that is how I achieved my beachy waves. I will leave the mermaid waver down below in case you do want to shop that. Yeah, now I'm gonna go and finish off getting ready.